Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa is three types of martial arts conditioning you're probably not doing and you need to add right away. All right, in today's episode, we're talking about different types of martial arts conditioning you should be doing on a regular basis. Yes, there's your traditional style, the skipping, the push-ups, the sit-ups, all very important, okay? But I'm gonna break down three that are more specific to martial arts that you don't necessarily see on a regular basis. So let's get right into the first one. The first one has to be calf conditioning, okay? Yes, skipping is important, right? And I do highly recommend that everybody does it, but there's simple ways that we can make it a little bit more difficult to condition your shins. One of my favorite ways is what the single leg bounce, okay? So I'm gonna get my one leg up and I'm gonna picture it like a block. So I want it on a 45 degree angle. I want this ankle nice and up to flex my tibialis anterior and my hands up. And we're gonna bounce on that single calf, okay? Why I like this, because when you kick, you're always on the single calf. If even if someone grabs a single leg, you're on one leg to kind of balance on that calf. So the way I like the condition here at Bazooka is we'll do 10 on bounces on one calf and then we switch 10 on the other and then we'll do 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50 and slowly build it up. Usually with my beginner classes, I go up to 30. So 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30. As you get more advanced, I'm at least expecting to get up to 50 on each side, okay? So you'll notice, this is very important. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they're kicking is they'll kick on their calf and then they fall. You need to have this calf work to be able to sustain throughout the fights, okay? Now, continuing with calf conditioning, it's important to change the direction to kind of focus your calves on different directions. The other one I like to do is using a line on the floor, okay? What I'm gonna do is basically what is called a pendulum bounce. I'm gonna use my rear calf to push forward. Now my front calf pushes me back. So I keep this bounce here, okay? Forward and backwards, all right? It seems simple, but if you build up this type of conditioning, and focus on the calf driving forward and backward. I exaggerate it sometimes, pushing forward and backwards, okay? Now, the big mistake people make here is by doing this, I'm just stepping over. I need that drive from the rear calf to be able to push that way, okay? Very important. Now, the last one I like to do is the laterals, okay? So what you can do is build in this laterals by either bouncing side to side, Okay, and then so I alternate forward, I go side to side, okay, and then I switch stances, okay? That's the rhythm I like to add. So orthodox, lateral, as well as forward and backwards. Now, if I had someone, we like to play games of lateral shuffles, like those football drills, the deep drills, they can get more advanced. But these simple ones of bouncing here, pendulum bouncing on all angles, it's gonna help you work your calves in different directions, okay? very important. Now, the second area we focus on is our core conditioning. Now, everybody has different ways of throwing them, all these fancy little sit-ups, but this is a basic one we do, and I'm going to give you the three we do here at Bazooka, okay? So, I'll give you the language. My legs, I like to keep straight. Our first one is a half sit-up. So, as you lay down, you come up. I want you to smack your stomach. Now, I'm not, I don't want to sit all the way up. I come about halfway up, hit my stomach, and come down. Now, you need to breathe every single time. It teaches my all levels and all of my members and athletes that you got to breathe when you get hit. And I like to use the side part of my hand, my hammer fisting here. And every time I hit myself, I breathe. I create the one. Oosh, oosh, okay. So up and down, that's what I call my half sit up. Now from the half sit up, I'll transition to more of a leg raise with a kick up. So from here now, I'll take a side view. As I come up, I kick all the way up, and then I bring my feet down. Kick up, come down, okay? And then I bring my legs down. The kick up, you'll really feel more in those upper abs. As you come down, you'll feel it more in the lower, in part of your hips and your hip flexors as well. So I'll do this one, okay? About, I would say a good one that I like to do is about 30 at least. So I'll do 30 half sit-ups, 
20 to 30, depending on the level. Obviously, as you get more conditioned up the levels, my advanced guys, we look for about 50 of each, okay? 50 half sit-ups, 50 with the kick up and leg raise. Now, the last one we add is what we call the full sit-up here. So from here, we're gonna do three hits with three breaths. So as I lay down, I come up, I hit my stomach nice and hard. I smack my shins with the top of my knuckle to condition my shins. As I come back, I really hit my stomach. But you gotta give that big drive and breathe out on each one. So on each count, three hits. One, oosh, 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 two, oosh, oosh, oosh. And you really wanna work on smacking. If, if, and the best part is, I like to use bare knuckle here so I can smack my shin. Every time I come up, I'll hit a different part of my shin with my knuckle from the top to the bottom, building it up, conditioning my shins. So I'm getting my core condition, smacking my shins, making them tough, and making sure I'm breathing and keeping my tight, very core with the hits, okay? So build it up with 20 of each, 30 of each, and then progressively build them up to hopefully get to at least 50 on each side, okay? So we conditioned our calves. I guarantee you, you're not doing that. Adding these hits, breathing, and shin conditioning while you're doing your core work, you're probably not doing that. And the last one you're probably not doing is to me one of the most important, okay? And that is basic neck conditioning. Yes, we see a ton of videos with the eye, your neck, very important, it costs money. You can use bands, okay, holding on the wall to strengthen your neck, but you're adding elements. There's a simple way to be able to train your neck. The third martial arts conditioning you're probably not doing is neck training. And this should be into your training almost every single time you train. I wouldn't overdo it. And obviously if you have neck issues, I wouldn't recommend it. See someone who's a specialist to make sure you're not damaging any more of your vertebrae or the nerves. Okay, so the basic neck conditioning, what I want you to do is you can either do them on the floor, Izzy's gonna demo, or some people you see them do them off the ring, or you can do it off of a bench like me just to get that little bit of extra range, okay? Now there's three motions that we need to work here. The first one is I'm gonna get chin to chest, and I'm gonna work up and control this motion, okay? Chin to my chest. All right, usually I say about, start with 10 maximum, if you're new to this, okay, and nice and controlled. The second pattern I call ear to shoulder. So I just go ear to shoulder, side to side, okay? Left, right counts as one, okay? Take your time. I don't want your neck up, try to keep it as flat as possible, okay? Ear to shoulder. The last one is rotations. I'll look left and right, okay, and I keep, alternating both sides. So you can see, very simple, at the end of your training, you can do them off the floor, you can do them on a bench, even sometimes just holding this position here while your neck is hanging, you can feel all the neck muscles working and tensing up. Even though a lot of times, maybe in my fights, I wasn't clinching a lot, just the whole aspect of tucking your chin and eating punches, you feel, really feel your neck and the muscles of the front of your neck get really tight and sore after your fights. So train your neck. There's also some science behind it, helping your brain from concussions. If your neck's getting snapped around and your head is snapping back, that doesn't look good for the judges. So really train that neck, whether you're a kickboxer, MMA, or even if you're just learning to spar, Neck, basic neck training. You don't need to be Mike Tyson rolling on the back of your neck like these wrestlers are doing. It's very damaging. It's a very sensitive part of your neck. Another thing you can do sometimes is just basic neck conditioning with your partner. I can grab more near the crown of the head, pull down, and they, with slight resistance, bring it up. I'm not trying to go too hard, but ideally, if you're going too hard and you're damaging yourself in the clinch, there's technical ways to get out of it, but you also have to make sure you prepare these little subtleties and muscles of your neck to prevent any of this stuff from happening, okay? So three important types of conditioning you need to work on. The calves, if your calves give out in the fight and you stop moving, you're in trouble. You're going to get shelled up. You're going to get attacked a lot more. The ability to move for the entire duration of your fight is important. So start with your calf training. Your core, the breathing, the hitting of the, the core, the hitting of the shins. Why not add both of them, okay? It's a very small little bit. Yes, you need your bag work conditioning, your pad work to toughen up those shins, but it's a small little part that will help you develop a whole more body armor style. Last but not least, get that neck nice and strong, develop the power so you can sit there and when you do take them off your head or you have to kind of use your head to wrestle a little bit, you have that strength to keep your head and brain safe, all right? I hope you enjoyed today's episodes. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA and make sure you support the channel sponsors. We have Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, the T3 boxing gloves, my personal favorite, and these hybrid MMA.
MMA gloves, I'm using them every single day. We also have Perfect Sports Nutrition, using code Bazooka20 gets 20% off all your supplements. I highly recommend their Altered State Pre-Workout. It gets me going, took it just before this video. The proteins, the brand chains, my daily staple. Last but not least, bazookatraining.com, online curriculum taught by me. There's now over 350 archive videos for you to learn from, and they're split up for your needs. We have home workouts, bag workouts, tutorials, sparring drills, and brand new videos every single Monday. That's four every single Monday. Brand new, new topics, new learning for less than $10 a month. So four brand new videos plus that huge archive for such a small fee. It's really worth it for you, okay? Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. You fell for it. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Veltalini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.